Hi everybody, welcome back for another strategies, tactics and boosts video and yeah, the year is ending in a few days. It's going to be Christmas and what, in 10, uh, 11 days, it's going to be, uh, we're going to enter 2024, so uh, in F1 class we have two most relevant events. This week it's the Christmas event and next week it's the New Year's event. So um, let's go and uh, let's go and see where we are racing, which driver is the boosted driver and car parts this week. It's not like last week with Verstappen, we have this week one driver and uh, two parts that are boosted. Legendary, legendary drivers are on again for this week and I believe this is good news. We all enjoy racing with them. So, first of all, let's go and see the four tracks for the qualifying round because we're going to talk about the qualifying uh, races uh, in this video. And as you can see, this is going to be a very, very interesting qualifying and opening and final, but let's stick to uh, the qualifying uh, for today. We see two wet races, 100% wet races, one uh, race that have some chances of being a wet race. This is going to be very difficult. Uh, we all know that in wet races, if something goes wrong, it's difficult to recover. So um, it's going to be crucial uh, and maybe decisive for the medals on Sunday, what we are going to do on the qualifying round. So we start with Hungaroring, the only 100% dry race. Then we travel to Belgium, Spa for a wet race. To Asia, Singapore, 33 cents of raining there. And finally, back in Europe, in Zandvoort, Netherlands, uh, Netherlands, and another wet race. So Spa and Zandvoort are our two wet races. Singapore with 33% chance of raining, and the only 100% track is Hangaroring, which is a tricky. Uh, a tricky track even when uh, the race is uh, is not wet so it's going to be a very very interesting qualifying so let's start to see our strategies for this week give me a second and here we go okay so Hungary as I said before turn one is where it's going to be decided if we're going to have a difficult race or an easy race. Many, many, many drivers stuck in traffic in turn one at the beginning of the race and then recovering in Hungary is very difficult. My uh, second choice my second fastest choice is this one, 5.3 medium soft. We can easily go five laps with mediums with a driver that has over 85, 86 uh, tire management. If we have lower, like Prost, then maybe a Prost with 82 tire management can do five laps with medium but we will have to be a little bit more uh, to conserve a little bit more if we boost his tire management a little 
not too much, then we can be, uh, we can push uh, the red button even in the first thing. Mainly, I would go with cornering boosts here, but combo boosts are useful too. Uh, we don't care so much about okay we always care for a fast pit stop but here we are only doing one pit stop so okay it's okay if we don't choose a boost uh that will cut down the time of our pit alternatively we can do the opposite three five soft medium but this is something i would mainly choose if i'm at the back of the grid and for sure here we need something like Tsar or Movember if our driver doesn't have good tire management. I would really like to have over 90 tire management for this strategy to work. And finally the fastest strategy here is 4-4, either soft medium as you see it here or medium medium if you cannot go four laps with softs uh, in Hungary, but this is the fastest strategy you can go uh, no matter where you start uh, your starting position uh, of the race. Okay, so let's go to Belgium. Okay, Belgium uh, with rain. Of course, again, we can stick to two pit strategy, two, 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 all wets, of course. But especially if we are at the top, we can easily go three, three. All the bots will go three, three. This is why we go two, two, two uh, in our, uh, in our uh, other strategy. Uh, because if we are not at the top of the grid, we don't want to pit with the bots, so we avoid pitting in lap 3. I know that one pit extra is a lot of time and we cannot use faster tires, so fa a faster compound, so we can uh, gain, um, uh, we can win the, the time back that we lose in uh, the extra pit stop. So we have to be here in order to make this strategy work. We have to be uh, very good in our power management. First thing, we don't push. We just roll with everybody else and uh, just wait to get into the pit lane with uh, preferably 100% power unit fully charged. Then when we exit the pits, then we push to close the, uh, the handicap between us and the cars that are in front of us. And when they enter the pits at lap three, then it's our time to sign then it's our time to push the red button all the way uh, because it's the lap that we want to gain the time for the second pit stop. That's the only way we can make this work, especially if we are in the back or in the middle of the grid. We know that overtaking with wets is difficult, so the plan is to overtake them while they are pitting and of course this is if we are at the top of the grid we don't care we pit with the bots because we pit before them we pit at the same lap and yeah it's it's a very easy strategy next one is singapore here we don't know if we're going to have a dry or a wet race so let's go to see them both mainly a cornering track so boosts would be uh, our choices would be Kupa, uh, Hook, Herald, Kavai, Wood. Uh, if you don't have one of these, maybe Reindeer, which is the boost of 
the uh, which is the boost of of the event. And by the way, now that I said it, give me one second. I forgot to say, of course, that we have Leclerc 10% boosted, Voyage and Sigma, uh, the two assets that are going to be boosted for this event, and Reindeer is the the boost of the event. So, try race in Singapore. This is the fastest, of course. Uh, strategy 2 2 2. If we can use Kavai here or um, Oud to gain uh, some time uh, in our pits, it would be uh, the best choice because we are doing two pit stops. Oops, give me one second. Okay, let's go to the next one. And of course, if we cannot create the gap needed between our two drivers, then our second driver can easily go 3-3. It's a little bit slower, a, a little bit slower, this strategy, but it's quick, it's fast enough to give us uh, the best uh, final positions uh, we can get. Here, we need a little bit uh, to, to be a little bit careful with our reliability, but not so much. Uh, reliability is an issue in this strategy. If you want to go both drivers for one pit stop, then you maybe want to choose this one. It's a little bit slower than the other two, so it would be my third choice. But if you go four hard, too soft, then I would like to see you uh, use Jean or Hook. Generally, boosts that will boost your the reliability of your car. Now, if it rains, three three wherever we are in the grid, and four two if we are at the top of the grid. Maybe some bots will pit at lap five, but I really don't care. I believe that 3-3 and 4-2 is the best choice. If your drivers have uh, a big enough gap, then maybe you can go 4-2 with both of them. Uh, but I would really like to see 3-3 for the driver that is at the back, if it's not at the top, and 4-2 for the other driver. And of course, be careful uh with the reliability of your car four laps in singapore the reliability is uh, will almost be at zero so be careful to avoid a breakdown okay and last one zandvoort netherlands again a wet race in uh netherlands 3-4 if we are at the back in the middle or at the top of the grid. And even 4-3, this depends. If both your drivers are at the back of the grid, uh, if both your drivers are at the back of the grid, then and you cannot uh, make a gap between them, then you go 3-4 and 4-3 but if we have a good enough gap then 4-3 for both of them and if we have a driver at the top he can easily go 5-2 all the bots will pit at lap 5 so mainly we aim to pit at lap 4 but we want to avoid stacking so 4-3 for our back driver and 5-2 for our driver uh, at the top, of course, is the best choice. Second choice, both of them 4-3 if they have a gap to avoid stacking. And third choice would be this one, 3-4 and 4-3.
Our better option, of course, is 4-3 for both of them if we are in the middle or at the back of the grid. And if we are at the top of the grid, 4-3 and 5-2 for our top driver. Oh yeah, yep, that's it. I forgot, it's the qualifying. Uh, it's the qualifying round. This means only four tracks. And by the way, until almost the end of this, uh, almost the end of this uh, season, we are going, uh, give me a second. We are going to have uh, four tracks in qualifying and eight tracks in opening and final until there in may somewhere there when the real f1 starts again and then we are going to have two times the same track um, okay let's go and see them again hungary a dry race spa wet race singapore 33 sense of raining you see 34 degrees there but don't worry about the temperature <coughs> sorry for that don't worry about the temperature in singapore even with high temperature we can go two laps with softs or three with mediums and finally the fourth uh, our fourth race is zanvoort netherlands 100 percent wet race there as in spa Okay, so that's it for the qualifying round. Don't forget to read the description of this video. You will find my Discord server link. Join and see all these strategies and the strategies of all the other tracks are uploaded there and you can see them whenever uh, you want. And of course, to talk about whatever you want ab uh, about the game. I hope you liked that video and I hope that once more we helped you uh, we're going to help you get the best out of your setup and your drivers. Don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button and be there for our live stream, which is tomorrow, uh, tomorrow evening. We are live streaming our qualifying round. You are going to see uh, these strategies uh, at work. So thank you so much. Good races to everyone, good result, great results to everyone, I wish, and yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye.